Ian's Mumbai Trip Once upon a time, in a small town called Chandrapur, there lived a young boy named Ian. He was a curious and adventurous child who loved exploring the world around him. Every morning, Ian would wake up early and go to school. His school was a small building made of red bricks, surrounded by lush green fields. His favorite subject was English, and he always tried his best to learn new words and phrases. One day, Ian's teacher announced that the school was organizing a field trip to a nearby city called Mumbai. Ian was thrilled with excitement. He had heard so many fascinating stories about the bustling city and its tall buildings. On the day of the trip, Ian and his classmates boarded a big yellow school bus. The journey to Mumbai was long but filled with joy and laughter. As they entered the city, Ian couldn't believe his eyes. Skyscrapers reached for the sky, and the streets were filled with cars, honking horns, and people rushing about. Their first stop was the famous Gateway of India. It was a grand structure overlooking the Arabian Sea. Ian marveled at the architecture and the sea breeze that kissed his face. He took out his notebook and started writing down the new words he learned, like monument, marvel, and seashore. Next, they visited a museum where Ian saw ancient artifacts, paintings, and sculptures. He was amazed by the stories behind each exhibit. Ian scribbled in his notebook, jotting down words like history, art, and culture. After the museum, they went to Juhu Beach, a popular spot for locals and tourists alike. Ian felt the sand between his toes as he walked along the shoreline. He built sand castles, flew kites, and even tasted delicious street food. The aroma of spices filled the air, and Ian quickly noted down the names of the dishes he tried, like Panapuri, Belpuri, and Veda Pav. The final stop was a famous Bollywood studio. Ian had always dreamed of becoming an actor and seeing the magic of movies up close was a dream come true. He watched as the actors danced and performed incredible stunts. Ian couldn't help but imagine himself on the big screen one day. As the day came to an end, Ian and his classmates returned to their town. Ian was filled with a sense of wonder and gratitude. He realized that learning English had opened up a whole new world for him. He now had the power to communicate with people from different places and understand their stories. From that day forward, Ian became even more determined to improve his English. He read books, practiced speaking with his friends, and even started writing his own stories. He knew that with hard work and dedication, he could make his dreams come true. And so, Ian continued his journey of learning and exploring. He knew that the world was vast and full of opportunities waiting to be discovered. With his newfound language skills, he was ready to take on whatever came his way. End of story. Let's understand and revise some of the words we learned today. Explore. To explore means to travel through or investigate a place or an idea in order to discover or learn more about it. Fascinating. Something that is fascinating is extremely interesting, captivating, or intriguing. It attracts your attention and makes you want to learn more about it. Skyscrapers Skyscrapers are very tall buildings that have many floors or levels. They stand out in a city's skyline and are often constructed in urban areas. Marveled To marvel means to be filled with wonder, astonishment, or admiration. When you marvel at something, you are amazed by it and find it extraordinary or impressive. Monument A monument is a structure or a statue that is built to honor or remember a person, an event, or an important historical moment. Monuments are often designed to be significant landmarks. Artifacts Artifacts are objects or items that have historical, cultural, or archaeological significance. They are usually created by humans and provide insights into past civilizations, cultures, or time periods. 
Sculptures Sculptures are three-dimensional art forms created by shaping or carving materials such as stone, metal, wood, or clay. Sculptures can represent people, animals, or abstract concepts. Amazed To be amazed means to be filled with a sense of wonder, astonishment, or surprise. When you are amazed, you are highly impressed or astounded by something. Scribbled. Scribbling refers to writing or drawing in a quick, hurried, or untidy manner. When you scribble, you make rough or messy marks on paper or a surface. Marvel. A marvel is something or someone that causes astonishment or admiration. It refers to something that is remarkable, extraordinary, or wondrous. Aroma. Aroma refers to a pleasant or distinctive smell or fragrance. It is the scent or odor that is often associated with food, flowers, or other substances. Incredible. Something that is incredible is difficult to believe or hard to imagine because it is so extraordinary or astonishing. It denotes something that is remarkable or beyond ordinary expectations. Gratitude. Gratitude is a feeling of appreciation, thankfulness, or being grateful for someone or something. It is an expression of recognition and thanksgiving for the kindness or benefits received. Determined. To be determined means to have a firm or strong intention, resolve, or willpower to achieve a goal or overcome obstacles. It signifies being focused, persistent, and unwavering in pursuing something. Dedication. Dedication refers to the commitment, loyalty, or devotion shown towards a task, goal, or purpose. It implies giving time, effort, and energy wholeheartedly to achieve desired results or fulfill responsibilities.